Hey everybody, welcome to Funnel Hacker TV. Today we begin a series of Funnel Hacker TV episodes that are gonna be a little bit different than what we have been doing. And we have a special guest joining us and you might be able to tell who that might be based on <laughs> my shirts. <laughs> um, but let's go ahead and roll the intro and we'll get into it. We are part of an underground group of entrepreneurs that you've probably never even heard of before. We are Funnel Hackers, and these are our stories. Everybody, welcome to Funnel Hacker TV. All right, so this episode is a little different than we've done ever in the past. Uh, Funnel Hacking Live is upon us. Like, we are in the 100 day stretch. Like I think we're at least at 94, 95, 96. The numbers just keep ticking down every single day. And because of that, we're gonna be adjusting the folks for Funnel Hacker TV every time we get the chance to be able to talk to a speaker at Funnel Hacking Live. Now Russell's got stuff going on. Make sure you're watching your emails, watching the posts and, and the groups and on his social, and you'll catch everything there. We'll come in when we can and be able to drop all this stuff for you. But we wanna to introduce today's special guest. So we're gonna be talking about Funnel Hacking Live now. That is our change and what we're going to be adjusting. So if you guys do not have your tickets yet, this is like, this is us talking about how amazing Funnel Hacking Live is and maybe like giving you guys an idea of what's coming. So Donnie, exactly. Tick tock, tick tock. It's coming down the clock and we are excited for you guys to be able to be here and we want to be able to introduce today's speaker. So we're going to be coming on every single day. Um, we do Funnel Hacker TV sometimes on special days. So we might be coming on uh, on Wednesdays as well. So pay attention because today we're definitely here. Tomorrow we may be here as well. Thursday we'll be here as normal. So make sure you're watching, make sure you're getting all the all the text messages and everything. Patricia, nice to see you. Laura, nice to see you. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Should we introduce yeah. who, who's coming on today officially? Oh my gosh, this is, this, is, <laughs> this is awesome. Like this is, I mean, if we can't have Russell come and kick this off, I feel like this is like the next best thing, right? right? I was <laughs> so, waiting to see who's yes. gonna take the first slot. <laughs> Yeah, oh, no, I don't want to say it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you want to say it? Um, all right. Welcome to the show, Steve Larson. Where is the app? Right. Where's the app? Uh... Where's the app? There he is. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> oh, it's going good, dude. How are you? Very good. I'm excited to be here. Thanks for having me, guys. Good. Yeah. I, I'm gonna be honest. I freaked out for just a second. I was like, "Holy crap!" What happened? <laughs> he ran out to go fix his internet real quick. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Piss off another socialist. Oh, yeah, dude. Okay, <laughs> so here. awesome. Yeah, it's nice to have you, dude. Okay, so here's a couple things. Uh, so we're all we're all loving the swag uh, at this point. So if, if you guys don't know <laughs> Steve, Steve's the capitalist pig, man. Uh, he's been teaching offers, launches how to be able to do all these things. I watched the last YouTube video that you put out, uh, I think this morning, uh, about, um, what was it? It was content, like actually like, no, it was the publishing machine on the engine. Like, how do you actually fulfill? Um, so listen to that, um, and got our newsletters cause you're doing linchpin stuff. And so I don't want to take the wind out of the air. Like you've got so much stuff to talk about. Um, for those of people who haven't been like, uh, blessed into the community, have not been here since since childhood. Can you introduce yourself? Let everybody know like your funnel hacking journey. Yes. I was born wearing this t-shirt and uh, <laughs> with a top hat. No. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I, I was much, you know, I was broke as a joke and I was in college and couldn't figure out how to feed us in the long term and didn't know what I wanted to be when I grew up. And uh, oh yeah, there we are. This little baby face, Steve, right there. <laughs> you need some hair on the other side of your head, kid. Um, anyway, um, so basically, though, I, I went and I created um, my first funnel, and it didn't work, much like most people's don't. And the only education piece that was out there was the first version of Dot Com Secrets, and that um, great book. But uh, people have so many more answers than I did when I started. Um, I was just in college, just putting these things together, and um, you know, it took. It was hard, you know, there just, there wasn't a lot. I was definitely the annoying guy in support, you know, like I would support uh, twice a day. How do I do this? 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 And it, part of it is just ClickFunnels is still such a brand new young company. Um, by a crazy turn of events, I ended up working at ClickFunnels 
after my first Funnel Hacking Live. And I traded funnels for plane tickets because I was so poor. Um, funnels for hotel nights, funnels for the event tickets. And um, actually the very computer that I'm on still right now, which is very old and I just keep upgrading the insides of, I should probably just get another computer. Mm -hmm. But uh, I funnel building is such an incredible skill set, regardless of what you choose to do with it. You know, if you're going to stay the route of being a funnel builder, or you're going to just, you're just the CEO and you realize I don't want to build a funnel, but I need to understand them. So I know how to get one in my own company. Or if you're going to be a marketer and realize, Hey, I'm going to go in and uh, learn how to drive tons of traffic to all these funnels that people are building. It's, it's one of those, just a universal language now, but it, it really wasn't when I started. Um, so I ended up working for uh, Russell and uh, uh, for two years and sat next to him and we built a ton of funnels, <laughs> like an ungodly amount of funnels. And uh, once, uh, then after that I decided, it was, it was kind of, it was within the year after I left that I decided I was gonna go in and teach offers and then go down this capitalist pig route. And um, that's, it's awesome you guys are wearing your swag. <laughs> <laughs> you have to. Yeah, so this is a little backstory. I've done a lot of stuff, a lot of things. Offers, funnels, launches, content, you know, a lot of the mindset stuff. Uh, you have the newsletter now, which is great. Um, yeah. Anyway, yeah. The, the amount of people who've been able to sit next to Russell during that period of amazing growth, like we're talking about tripling the user base for ClickFunnels um, and more, and just like, being able to do all these things, being able to see him grow from book to book to book, uh, being able to be somebody that he reaches out to throughout all of that. Like there's very few people who got to sit in that seat and be able to be you and be able to see it and be able to be somebody that he got to like geek out with. And so like, there's so many cool stories and things that you brought up in the past that I just, I've, I've ate up every single step of the way. And so yeah. I appreciated you like pounding the publishing drum and just, you know, getting, getting us out there. Those of us who are afraid of publishing and all the rest, like it's beautiful. I got to tell you, it's one of the reasons I go so hard is that like that role doesn't even exist anymore, you know? And um, there were so many little insights. I mean, I, I have a marketing degree, but come on, I didn't really go to marketing school until I sat next to him. And, um, and it was interesting to, to observe the it, and this is true for all people who have a skill set and teach it right the way you can teach something from stage versus the way you actually apply it is slightly it's not that it's different it's just you get to see how that thing gets applied and all these little nuances so for the first two comic of coaching program right that we put out it was before two comic of x um that took me six months to put that program together and i was the only coach for 675 students that was so many backgrounds so many scenarios so many origin stories and offers and does this funnel work for me or what funnel type should it be and to go really deep in that and then through the one funnel away stuff I think it's 50 or 60 thousand people that i got to bring through live on that mm -hmm. i have a lot of affinity and empathy and um have seen the backgrounds of a unique amount of people right and so it's <laughs> yeah it's a good one a unique amount of people in in scenarios on how this stuff gets applied to the marketplace and so that, that's where a lot of my passion comes from is I was really broke once uh, and um, you know, there's a certain few number of steps when applied in the right order that really increase the probability of winning. You know, so that's, anyway, to just side note that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we have seen you now, we get, we've been seeing some footage popping up. You have been to the last four FHLs speaking on uh, stage. Speaking okay, for, but yeah. speaking on stage, yay. Okay, so you've been to like, even though eight, so you've missed just the first. No, 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 you've missed the first them. one. No, I missed the first uh, one. I was, I was broke. The next yeah, one's nine. Okay. Um, so this is your fifth year speaking. Uh, what's kind of brought you back to the stage this year? First off, Russell asking. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I'm excited for what I'm going to talk about. Um, during the pandemic, I was. If you guys have been following me at all, you know that I like to study stories of rich, dead marketers. And the reason <laughs> is because of um, the reason is because I the longer I've been down this route, like when I was growing up, I really wanted to be a high school history teacher. I love American history. I love studying wars. That's what I thought I was going to be. It was one of the two routes I thought I was going to go when I went to college was teaching history. And so that's where a lot of my passion comes from in teaching, teaching this stuff. 
So um, the, the deeper and deeper I've gone into like all these stories of old marketers, the more and more I've realized that there's really no such thing as internet marketing. And this is like what I think trips a lot of people up is they're like, oh, am I really one phone away? Yes, but you're not one marketing thing away, right? You're, you're going to do a lot of different marketing things to that one funnel. And that's the part that pe most people get really, really stuck up on is they, they sit back and say, they, they don't understand the role of a funnel. They don't understand the role of marketing. They think sales is marketing. They think entrepreneurship is marketing and a funnel. And they're all, all different things. And mm -hmm. they don't understand pieces fit together. So I believe that there is marketing and then there is the internet, right? Two mm -hmm. separate things. One is a distribution channel. The other is how you get leads and attention towards your business. And we just, when you're going to be a marketer, sometimes it's best to learn what that was like before the internet. Otherwise the internet can kind of become somewhat of a crutch. And so, and we start to think to ourselves, oh, I have to know Facebook really well in order to be a marketer. I still don't know how to do Facebook ads. And that's not a brag. It's just to say the point, right? That marketing is not a platform on the internet. We just use the internet as a way to distribute marketing. And so like the one you're just showing, the one of Russell and I, we're co-authoring a book together right now called Dramatic Demonstration. And the whole point of the book is look at what it actually took to market in old times Mm -hmm. And you actually have an easier time seeing what the, what the raw principles and steps of marketing actually is. That way, when you go apply it to the internet, you don't start thinking that the internet equals marketing because it's not. It's just a way to reach people. And so this year, um, uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to say what I'm talking about, but I won't. I, this year, what I'm going to be talking more about is, yeah, I can? Okay, cool. Yeah. So this year, what I'm going to be talking more about is um, a speech that I gave uh, to the Category Kings uh, Mastermind. And... At the end, Russell was like, that was good. And I was like, that was the stuff I wanted to say at the last mm -hmm. FHL. And he was like, really? And I said, yeah, but we only have 45 minutes and there's two of us. That's not a lot of time. And he goes, you should get on stage. And I was like, done. And, <laughs> and what it is, is I struggled for a long time to figure out how to make hooks. What is a hook? You know, And it's one of the most important pieces of page one of any funnel or really anything you put on the internet that first line, that first title, that headline, um, right? We refer to it as a hook, but only if it meets certain certain things. And so I, I realized to kind of backpedal, let me go full circle here, sorry. During the, the pandemic, the beginning of pandemic, I started listing out all of these stories about P.T. Barnum and all these, all the things I had gone deep on. I got to meet Joe Vitale, he's so cool. That's awesome. He's super deep in P.T. Barnum, obviously, but- yeah, we, I started noticing that there was a pattern in how Barna would launch a product without ads. And it was the way that he would approach different distribution channels on the internet. Oh, well, I mean, I'm sorry, without the internet, right? Because there's no internet. So the way, and there was this model and he would never email his list first or the equivalent of that, right? He would never reach out to his people that he had, tra he had control of traffic on first, ever. And that's often what he, what the rest of us all go do is we make a post, we do an email, boom. I launched my thing. That's not a launch. That's an announcement, right? And so I started telling Russell more about this. I was like, check this out, man. This is like these, this pattern. It was really nine steps the first time I pulled it out. And it was in every single one of his campaigns. And what he was talking about in the campaigns is what I wish I had the time to talk about um, at the last FHO. And it's this hook formula. And this hook formula is, is amazing. <laughs> I've used it on so many of my clients now. And uh, uh, I first noticed I was doing it about three years in to writing hooks for people. And uh, anyway, just started noticing that like, wow, we write these sales messages. But if I ever go on Facebook Live and I just start telling a sales message, mm -hmm. chances are it offends people and they walk away. Yep. Wait, why? It's my sales message. And even if I'm talking to a pocket of people who are a potential buyer of mine, why does it offend them? Right? Same thing if I go out and I start just talking about my offer. Same thing. I, right? They didn't give me permission to pitch them. And so I was like, there's, there's a step before sales message. What is that? And it's hook. The role of the hook is to sell the sales message. And then it's the role of the sales message to sell the offer. 
But too many of us go to the out to the open marketplace and say, here's my sales message. Here's my offer. Here's my funnel. Here's my thing. And it's annoying. What you're supposed to lead with and what I saw in Barnum and all these other guys is you only ever in your marketing, only ever spread the hook, never the sales message, never the offer. And when they say yes to the hook, then they're saying yes to let me hear the sales message. Come pitch me. So last year at Funnel Hiking Live, like you got to be on stage with Russell um, and you were talking through dramatic demonstrations, which is part of the linchpin strategy, which is everything the Funnel Hacking Live is this year. Like it's yeah. 100% the linchpin, how to do it step by step with Russell and the best businesses that are implementing this piece by piece. Um, like I almost expect this to be like part two, like part one is like, here's a bunch of examples that we did of this from PT Barnum and from uh, Russell talked about the guy that he liked that like would uh would like uh, he was that wrestler and then you guys um, gave the two yeah. comic club award to pt barnum <laughs> right <laughs> and so like I, I i almost see this as like part two of that is that appropriate way to think of that like like or this um, is like how to understand this in better context or is it just entirely separate it's no it, you could call it part two but it's not to say there's only two parts of this you know <laughs> but uh it's certainly a follow-up yeah okay. that is cool yeah, yeah, super cool. There's a lot of hook writing formulas for those of us who are not copywriters. <laughs> and that's Russell's three stuff, right? Hook, story, offer. And so yeah. we get to be able to play with that. That's going to be a blast, dude. I'm psyched. That's I get super... ranting about this stuff. Sorry if it's actually long, but it's some cool crap, everyone. <laughs> you should come to Funnel Hacking Live. This is epic, ep epic crap. It's going to be absolutely <laughs> awesome, guys. If you don't have your tickets, you need to get it. Go to funnelhackinglive.com. Go and get your tickets. Um, dude, like, to be frank, I've been to a lot of events. So like you, the very first Funnel Hacking Live, I didn't go to. I had an invite. I had a ticket. I just didn't go um, because I'm like, I don't understand how to. I was in a broke mindset. It just wasn't going to happen. Sure. Um, and uh, it wasn't until I changed and shifted and things started to, to change for me as I did that, um, that suddenly, like you, like you go every year once you go. Like once you step your foot in Funnel Hacking Live, you never want to not be there. Um, it, it becomes a reunion and every year is a little different. And so it never loses that pizzazz. And this year is massively different, but like you've put on your own stuff too. Like this is, this isn't your first like event by far. Like you've gone through and created multiple events. I remember the very first offer mind. That yeah. Was, that was beautiful. <laughs> oh, thank you. I went too deep on it. <laughs> but that was 20 events ago or 19 events ago. This next one will be my 21st. It's crazy. That is crazy. nuts. Like, so there's there's some that always stick out to me. Like I always remember the very first offer mind. I always remember um uh, the time that you taught this principle you're speaking about funnel hiking live. Like you talked about a piece of it um several while. Like I, I think I tried to go to every event that you were throwing. Um, and I remember like the iterations and when you actually talked about the hook itself um, and how to the rest of everything else. And it's beautiful. It's going to open up exactly what you need to hear for the rest of the event. Um, like this is the door that swings open wide your ability to be able to make your fail sales funnel get traffic, make it get moving. And like, I remember when you did that. I remember when Russell came. I remember when Dave came. I remember... Um, when, when, uh, when you started launching again, like there's just these moments that I will always remember. And I, yeah, it's super, super cool, dude. That's awesome. Yeah. I really appreciate, appreciate it. it. Yeah. So, um, really quick, um, correct me if I'm wrong. Are you doing a bonus for final hacking live? Is that what we heard? Oh, sweet cherry pie. You know, I'm gonna, <laughs> 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 Oh, well, I don't know where you came up with that one. Like you popped on stage. I don't know. <laughs> that was that was not planned. I just was saying something. I don't know. When I, when I can tell that what I've been teaching has been really thick for a while, I had a coach tell me you got to learn how to break it up. Otherwise, mm -hmm. it's like yeah. eating Thanksgiving and bread all day long and expecting us to not take a nap. And I was like, that's good advice. So I just do something. I just do something stupid to just bring the room back. Otherwise, kind of get lost sometimes. And it's sweet cherry it's very pie. effective. Stupid <laughs> <laughs> phrases. That's great. I'll All right, make up so, a new one this time. I don't know. <laughs> no, sweet cherry pie is beautiful. Let's see if we get a different pie or I don't know. It's <laughs> All right. So tell us really quick. So like Russell has his offer. Um, and with his offer for Funnel Hacking Live, you're going to be able to get the tickets for Funnel Hacking Live. Um, you get, uh, you also get like a whole bunch of other bonuses, including the marketing.ai 
um, installation into your ClickFunnels account and get that integration. You get a whole bunch of swag. It's ridiculous how much swag you're going to get. Inner circle bonuses, including all the replays from Funnel Hacking Live from 2016 all the way through to 2022. You can hear every time that Steve has spoken and yes. be able to catch up entirely <laughs> on this. Um, but the question is like, you wanted to provide something on top of it. I'm just going to let the floor be yours because I appreciate that. That's, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah. So my bonus this year is the offer mine 2019 replays, just my speeches. It's, um, which is, it's, it's a deep dive, but not, not as deep as that first offer mine. Oof, that was no. one of those deep. <laughs> Russell, Russell made fun of it. He was like, dude, you went deep. And then he, he looked down and he goes, like so deep <laughs> i was like okay sorry the 2019 is not nearly as like not nearly as nerdy but um what it is though is how i view the world of a brand new startup as they kind of wade through the questions of making their first offer for that company it's not necessarily for new entrepreneurs although it can be it's just the key questions in the order you should ask them to really make a um an offer that is attractive for the marketplace to make sure that there is a marketplace for what you're creating, how to make the offer, how to price it, those types of strategies. And um, and it does dive a little bit into some of my traffic stuff, but it's mostly it's about offer stuff. Um, it's uh, That was the one that's 650 people at the event. That was a good one. Yeah. Um, that was the Boise, one here in Boise, On a Monday. Right? Yeah, yeah. On a Monday. Yeah, yeah. Like, what I was heck? at that one. It that's was right. awesome. That's, you were. Yeah. It was really um, cool. Really cool. But, yeah. That's a good. I like that. I'm proud of that one a lot. Um, uh, and then, that is and then I thought it would just be cool. There, the next offer mine we did out of my own studio, and so most of the audience was virtual, but there was some in person. And this is right when Dave was um, what was was going through the middle. No one knew how serious it was yet, and he's like a second father figure to me. And so I thought it would be cool to just put his keynote. He was already getting kind of sick in this, and so he. This is hard for me to talk about. So he, um, so we did like a sit down side by side interview, and he gave some just really good life advice. And so I thought it'd be cool to toss his keynote in as well. So, yeah, guys, in the comments, there. Awesome. just just drop a thank you, or you know, like I don't, I don't think anybody realizes how amazing this is. Um, it's good. Twenty nineteen replays are spectacular. Um, being able to hear Dave, and this is not like a traditional like discussion with Dave. This is something very different than no. Dave's normal. Um, we all followed Dave. We loved hearing Dave when he was going live every single day and he was sharing the message that he felt was his calling to share. Um, this is a different kind of presentation and it's one that I think a lot of people, is going to bless a lot of people. So dude, uh, that is absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's all I feel like it's the best way to prep for coming. Otherwise, yes. you look at all these marketing strategies and you're like, this is cool, but I don't have a thing to sell. And those of you guys who are in that category, I have affinity for that. I get that. So this will help you have a thing. That's why it's offer mind. Okay. Put the offer idea together. That way, the marketing ideas that you're hearing and the funnels strategies that you're seeing, you're like, I have a thing to do that too now. Otherwise, I was falling into a trap for a long time where I was like, this is cool, but like, I still don't have a product I'm confident in. Right. And that's so that way, when you show up, you're like, all right, I'm ready. Yep. Having that product makes it so much easier. Uh, like what yeah. we're going to be walking through is all the pieces. Once you've got kind of that figured out, you get to now figure that out before you're at Funnel Hacking Live. Plus you get all the recordings and all the jazz. Dude, Steve, thank you so much. <laughs> Appreciate it beyond compare. If you guys don't have your tickets, uh, this is where you're going to go. You're going to go to FunnelHackingLive.com. This is the page you're going to go to. Go to FunnelHackingLive.com. You're going to be able to see the replay from the last event. You're going to be able to see uh, what Russell's talking about, which is the linchpin. This is the way to be able to structure your business so you're able to grow every single step, no matter what's coming. We have speakers planned all the way through in order to help you do this, plus a special event from Andy Grammer. Look, we have seats that are sold out right now. We've sold out every single year at Funnel yeah. Hacking Live. This is an unprecedented event and an experience that you want to be a part of. And so if you have not gone to FunnelHackingLive.com yet, do it now. You will not, just the 2019 replays are worth a thousand dollar ticket, hands down. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. And so, Steve, thank you. We appreciate you. you. <sighs> yep. Susan, did right. you yeah. anything? Yeah. No, I think you hit it all, Ben. Um, <laughs> Steve, thank you. Guys, we will be back later this week. 
maybe even tomorrow. Make sure you're subscribed to any of the lists. You'll know exactly when we go live. And we have more amazing special guests joining us that are going to be FHL speakers this year. So if you want to learn more about who's coming, just stay in tuned. All right. We'll see you guys later. See you guys there. There are so many people walking around who don't know that they can change the world. You were born to do something great with your life. As an entrepreneur, you're going to have painful experiences, but all pain is temporary. And if you can survive it, you will meet another version of yourself. I was just numb. We were racking up credit cards. We stopped paying for our house. We literally were selling furniture out of our home. I felt trapped and exhausted by my life, and I couldn't see a way out. I felt like a shell of who I was made to be. In life, you were most capable of helping the person you used to be. If you used to be broke, you can help broke people. If you used to be broken, you can help broken people. It starts with you. You hear the call. You feel it. It's beating, it's pulsing. I'm made for something more. We get scared. And then fear hits us. The little voices in the back of our head. I'm not ready. I'm not worthy. The driven say, no, I'm going to do it. The driven are you guys here today. More people are finding their breaking point and waking up. I have a calling. Yesterday I realized I have to do this. There's a soul here at ClickFunnels. It felt like I had gone through the wardrobe of the Chronicles of Narnia, and I was just like, what is this magical place that makes billionaires? I'm going to show you the magic trick that made me all of my money. My best-selling framework. Like start out closing if you're going to end up 82% closing. 82% of customers trust influencers. This better blow your mind and allow you to predict the future. People need aliveness and meaning again. Who do you want to become? What do you want to felt and experience in this one precious life? You wouldn't be able to tell, but I ran the New York Marathon when I was 19. Life happened and my mom passed away. One of my daughters had a traumatic brain injury, wasn't expected to live. When you meet somebody that continues to push through adversity, that is the definition of an entrepreneur. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna sponsor you through this journey because everybody deserves an opportunity. What you do with it is up to you. a sense of belonging here. It feels like home. It's so encouraging because if they can do it, so can I. It starts with saying, hey, next year we're going to get better. Russell has a way of teaching that makes success faster. In my opinion, he's the best marketer we've ever lived. You will find exactly what your business is missing. It's going to amplify every campaign you do. If you've been thinking there has to be a better way to do this than what you're being told, I'm here to tell you you're right. People might say you're too young or you're too old or your body's not right or you didn't go to the right school. Then one day, they're telling people how they met you. Oh, I can lie, I've changed my entire life. Because now I know what I'm going to do next. Your family is going to be blessed. Your legacy is going to be blessed. Movements are about to be birthed. My story hopefully gave women permission. You do not have to be great to get started, but you have got to start if you ever want to be great.